Hey, this is Greg. Welcome to the channel. And today we're going to embark on a bathroom remodeling project. I'm going to take you step by step through the remodeling of this old outdated bathroom. And hopefully there won't be any questions left. But if you do have questions, just leave them in the comments below and I will answer as best I can. So first, before you get to the stage of where we are right now, there are several things you need to do. The first thing is planning. You need to start looking at designs online, look at different styles and colors. You need to draw a floor plan. You need to figure out where all the plumbing and electrical is in the walls as best you can. Uh, for example, are there any adjoining bathrooms or other uh, rooms where there's, there's plumbing or electrical in the wall that you can see from the other side? And next, you need to just ask yourself some questions. Do you have a deadline? It's probably going to take you twice as long as what you think it's going to take. Uh, how are you going to ventilate the room to protect the rest of the house if it's a house you're living in that isn't vacant? How are you going to get all the demoed materials out of the house without making a big mess? Uh, what level of plumbing and electrical is going to be required and what skills do you have? Uh, can you do those yourself or do you need a contractor? And what's required in your area? You know, Some areas electrical and plumbing contractors are required for any level of work. Other areas, if you own the house that you're working in, you don't have to have a permit or license contractor. You need to find that out before you start. Also, are there any special tools required if you're doing this yourself? Will you need a contractor for the entire job or for just parts of the job? And I know I just rattled off a bunch of stuff. I put a list down in the summary below, so if you look at that, you'll see all the things I just mentioned. So. Um, you know, one of the items, drawing a floor plan, that's a really good tool to have. So you can mark where the, all the existing plumbing lines are and your existing fixtures, and then help you determine exactly how you want to move things around. Here's a look at uh, one of the floor plans I created for this room. So I did create a hand-drawn floor plan that has every possible measurement on it. This one I did on the computer. It is mainly just a general layout of the bathroom as it is now with the existing fixtures, the toilet, the tub, the shower, the sink, the linen closet, all the light switches, the lights. And this is really just used to help kind of plan the demo and figure out how I want to change the bathroom. And with this plan, you'll see that I've got two vanities on here now. I've moved the toilet over and it's really been a helpful tool in planning out the whole project. And like I said, I do have a hand-drawn floor plan with all the measurements on it and that's really all you need. So you need to plan to start shopping probably uh, two or three weeks ahead of time before you even start the demo. There are a few things that have a long lead time. Uh, one is the shower pan. The shower pan I'm using for this project is from Tile Ready. It's a custom made, custom size uh, shower pan with a center drain. So, and the lead time on that is uh, two to three weeks. Um, some of your ceramic tile has a long lead time. Uh, custom doors, custom vanities, all these things can take uh, two to four weeks to arrive. I'll go over some of the tools I'll be using and then we'll be ready to start demo. All right, for those of you wondering where the old Fox Body Mustang is, it's, it's still here, just waiting. All right, so let's go over some of the things you want to have on hand before you start uh, your demo. So I've got some, uh, some good kind of tough uh, leather gloves, safety glasses, a mask. It's probably not the right kind of mask. Probably need something more like a dust mask, maybe along the uh, N95 range. Uh, regular hammer. This is a pretty heavy duty, I think it's a five pound uh, sledge. Um, unless you're doing a major demo, you probably wouldn't need uh, a hammer like this, a uh, flat blade, Phillips head, some pliers, um, any kind of pliers are fine. This is mainly just for breaking loose water lines, that kind of thing. Um, a pry bar, and this is called a uh, crow's foot. This comes in really handy if you need to remove like one stud. You can uh, hammer this right in underneath a nail and pull a nail out that's in a stud. Um, let's see, electrical tester. Uh, you do need to make sure all your circuits are off in the room where you're doing the demo and maybe even adjacent rooms. Uh, stud finder may come in handy. Tape measure, some painter's tape, a marker, 
Uh, some contractor bags. These are not contractor bags. I need to pick some up. I just have some regular trash bags. All I'm going to be doing today is probably removing the toilet and some other uh, light demo. So that'll be fine. And some uh, heavy duty plastic sheeting, maybe some light plastic sheeting, and some Ziploc bags. These come in handy for stuff like, say you want to remove door hardware, but you don't want to get rid of it. You want to keep it. Just throw it in a Ziploc bag instead of throwing all the parts in a box and having to sift through it later. Um, also, wet dry vac, I like to kind of clean as I go. And one of the thing we didn't see is the uh, razor knife. Perfect for cutting drywall. All right, well, I'm gonna take this up to the bathroom and get started. All right, so the first thing we're gonna do with the demo is get rid of the easy stuff. Uh, this door. The toilet, the shower doors, just all the stuff that's kind of in the way that's really quick and easy to get out of our way. So uh, let's get it done. done a toilet removal video if you want to see that detail there's a link right up here and uh, here's another tip that I didn't include in that video do not remove the toilet paper until you remove the toilet So far, so good. Toilet came out pretty easily. I can get rid of that toilet paper now. I'm gonna go ahead and remove the uh, trim from the shower doors. Go ahead and get rid of the shower head, the mirror, uh, probably the curtain rod. And then I'm gonna start working on this tub. So on the tub, I'm just gonna take a, uh, a razor, score all the way around where the uh, caulk joint is on all four sides. And um, if your plumbing isn't disconnected, you'll need to disconnect your plumbing. You've got a, a drain down at the bottom. You've got your water lines that come up here. As you can see, well, as you can't see, but as you will see. Here's where I had a leak uh, previously and I just capped these off. Now I have uh, polybutylene in the house which is bad. And so everything I can access in doing this bathroom project, I'm gonna be switching over to PEX. So if you do this, there are some special connectors to go from polybutylene to PEX. So you would need one of those special uh, connectors there and then you can just use a PEX plug here. So I'll do this all the way back at the very beginning, wherever I find the water lines come up to these uh, bathrooms upstairs. I'll cap them and then I'll replace all, all the plumbing in both bathrooms because I can get to the second bathroom on the other side of this wall. So I can open up this wall just enough to get to all the plumbing. And uh, that's it, let's keep moving. Oh, one more thing. Uh, I'm also gonna uh, clean up the wax ring there. Probably put some type of solid type cap over it because we're gonna be doing a lot of walking around in this bathroom, working on the, uh, the shower and the tile and the tub and everything else. So uh, I'll put something over that that we can walk on.
Okay, I'm getting ready to remove the tub. I wanted to go ahead and highlight a couple of specialty tools you may want to get. One is this tub drain removal tool. Uh, you basically just stick it down into the tub drain. You can turn this with uh, a crescent wrench or a regular wrench and uh, break loose that tub drain. Otherwise, it's very difficult to get out. You can try sticking pliers down in the tub drain and turning those with other pliers, but you can mess up your tools that way. This is really inexpensive. I don't know what it was, maybe five bucks or something. And uh, it'll make getting that drain out a lot easier. Uh, another thing, you know, I mentioned the PEX earlier where I capped off those uh, polybutylene lines. And really, all you need for PEX is this tool uh, right here. So I'm going to show you really quick kind of the how it works. Um, but later in another video, I'll show you some more detail how to on the plumbing. Basically, you just put this ring on your piece of PEX. Put your fitting in here. You put the ring right in the middle of your uh, tool. Just like that. And then you squeeze it all the way down until it closes and it's done that's all you got to do so these fittings are really easy and they'll last a long time so uh, let's get started on the tub so there's only a few things holding the tub basin to the structure of your house it's going to be your water and your drain and the caulk around here. So uh, as far as the water goes, you really don't have to take these knobs off like I did if you're going to be cutting the water lines underneath. So I'm just going to leave this attached to the tub. All that will stay there when I take the tub out. The drain, uh, I showed you the tool for this. Here, uh, if you have this type of stopper, uh, just take the screws out and then this should actually just come out of the uh, drain like so and that's all there is to it the other thing you've got is the drain here which we're going to use our tool to remove that right now and then running the razor blade around this caulk and this tub should come right out. step is to score the caulk line and we'll start trying to lift this tub out of here. side here. I'm going to remove some more of this tile all the way down to the end just to see uh, how the, the uh, fiberglass tub is fit into the end and around the back. And I can see now uh, I thought they had put the tile in and then dropped the tub in and caulked around it. But they actually uh, put the tub in and then tiled down on top of it. So the tub is actually underneath the tile and possibly the drywall here. So I'm going to have to go ahead and remove all of the tile all the way around the tub. And maybe a little bit of this drywall as well to get the tub out of here. So 
Guess we need to get started on that. difficult so it's easiest just to uh, score the drywall all the way around and pull that tile and drywall off all as one piece so now we're going to try to move the tub and see if that comes out any easier things I see that I don't like. Number one, there's no insulation there. That's the exterior wall. And then that insulation doesn't go to the bottom. Insulation missing there. So there's one good reason to open up the walls. Um, other than that, everything, everything looks good. I'm going to go ahead and remove this little uh, wall here, get that out of the way, open this up, remove these uh, boards around the perimeter that were there to hold the uh, tub. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and try to dismantle some of this plumbing down to a point. And I'll just uh, cap it off there temporarily till I'm ready to move that out of the way completely. Since there's not a tub going in, in its place, uh, I'll follow this drain back and cap it off at the uh, where, it, where it connects to the main line. And uh, one thing you didn't see, I'm in here uh, vacuuming every five seconds because I have to carry this you know, tub and everything else all the way through uh, our bedroom, down the stairs, through the house and outside. So I'm trying not to make a mess in the rest of the house. But hey, it's uh, coming along. Just got to keep moving. out the tile here in the shower and I think I'm gonna do the same thing I did here and just cut out the drywall so I'm going to um, again score all of the joints where, where there's caulk and um, I'll need to take out this shelf since it's uh, it'll be in on two different pieces this handle usually there's a um, little cap here that comes off, there's a screw inside, this handle will come off, then this plate will unscrew and get that off of there. So I'm gonna take out, I'm gonna go ahead and take out this row of tiles all the way around. And uh, that way I can cut this in half because it would be too big and too heavy to try to take out one entire panel. So I'll take out the tiles, cut the drywall across there, across the top and down this side and uh, I'll be able to take out that piece and this piece and this piece and then the lower pieces. All right, let's get her done.
right, so as you can see, got all the shower walls out, top to bottom. So, uh, wasn't too bad. Once I uh, started just removing the, uh, like a row of tiles and trying to remove some of the nails from the uh, concrete board, then I was able to pull that concrete board off with all the other tiles intact. You may have seen that. So, uh, yeah, looks good. So now I'm going to remove uh, this drywall to the corner, along with the corner bead. There's a corner bead that runs down through here. I'll remove that. Um, and I'll probably go to remove this piece of drywall as well. Um, as I said, I'm moving this wall in to make the shower wider. So I'll just redo this piece. I'll remove that all the way up to the ceiling, all the way down to here. I'm going to remove this trim. I'm actually going to remove this drywall all the way to the ceiling and this piece all the way to the ceiling. Uh, the tile I have is going to be going all the way to the ceiling, so um, I'm just going to remove all this drywall and prepare it for the, uh, the new backer board there. Uh, but I think this video is long enough, so I'm going to go ahead and stop it right here. But I will put a uh, link below uh, to the second video where I finish up the demo. I need to uh, take out some more drywall um, in this area. And then I'm also going to remove the vanity, a little bit of carpet, open up some doorways. So uh, there's a, a lot more to come. So please like and subscribe. And we will see you next time. Thanks for watching. Thank you.